Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of my Blender physics game. This is a freeware program that I've developed that can be used to demonstrate some fairly simple physics mechanics principles. Uh, this runs on PCs, Macs, and Linux systems. And because it's Blender, you can actually modify this game to create new experiments well above and beyond uh, the simple experiments I'm going to show you here. So, uh, the place where you get this game is people.cornellcollege.edu. It's where I work. Uh, D. Sherman, that's me. And the physics game, that is this program. So, let's get started. Here you see this uh, little red car, and we make the car accelerate forward by pushing the up arrow key, and turn to the left using the left arrow key, and we turn to the right using the right arrow key, and we can accelerate backwards in reverse by pushing the down arrow key. We can also brake by pushing the space bar. Now there are many objects this car can interact with. There's a red ramp, which has a departure angle of 15 degrees, a green ramp, this departure angle of 30 degrees, blue ramp, 45 degrees, and purple ramp, 60 degrees. Each ramp has an angle 15 degrees greater than the ramp before it. Now, all these uh, departure points are located 10 meters above the ground, and they're all located directly above this black stripe. Now, there are a whole series of stripes. Uh, the brown stripe is located at 10 meters, the red at 20, orange at 30, yellow 40, green 50, blue 60, violet 70, gray 80, white 90, and black is back to 100. So, these colors actually correspond to the resistor color code. Black is one, brown is uh, black is zero, brown is one, red is two, orange is three, and so on. So let's try jumping off this 15 degree ramp and seeing what we can do. Now, one of the things that's going to help us here is that these numbers on the upper left hand side of the screen are a speedometer, and it'll actually tell us how fast we're going uh, when we make this jump. So we can then use that information to see, well, how does speed relate to distance? So let's try, we're going at about 23 meters per second, and we got to gray. All right, gray corresponds to the 80 meter mark. So when we're going 23 meters per second, we got to the gray point. All right, well, is that what you'd expect? Probably not, because gravity in this blender world is a little bit different than gravity on Earth. So you'll have to figure out what gravity in the blender world is to figure out how to use this. All right, we have some other objects we can interact with. We have these loops, uh, these translucent loops. Um, the orange loop has a diameter of 50 meters. The cyan loop has a diameter of 25 meters. And the magenta loop has a diameter of only 12 and a half. The Radii differ by factors of two from one loop to the next. Now, if we're going fast enough, we can actually make it all the way around a loop. So let's see if we can demonstrate that. I'm going to gather up some speed, and I'm going to come around and try to go around the loop. And these actually, the white lines on the racing car make this fairly easy, and the there we go. Whoops, I think we just missed that thing. But yes, we got it around the loop and then we just sort of fell into that hole. Well, that happens every now and then. There's some other experiments. If we're not going fast enough, we won't make it. So one question to ask is, well, how fast do you have to be going to make it all the way around the loop? And that might also tell you something about gravity. Something else that you can find out, if I approach this loop very slowly, so here I'm going very, very slowly, and if I approach it very slowly, there comes a point, if I'm going very slowly, where if I'm stopped, I can hit the accelerate button on the car, and I basically won't move. So there's a point right around here. Whoops. Took my finger off the accelerator button. Um, and there's a point right around here where I am trying to accelerate as hard as I can, and not very much is happening. So there's a point right around here where I can't accelerate. And that might tell you something. It might tell you something about the interaction between the car and the ramp. It might tell you something about the friction in the car. Um, hopefully it will. So 
There are a number of experiments you can do with those ramps. Um, there's another one here. There are a whole series of pendula sitting at this corner. There's a red pendulum. The red pendulum has a length of 5 meters. Green has a length of 10. Blue has a length of 20. And we also have a double pendulum, which has two pendulum bobs. So here, we're going to hit this pendulum bob. And we'll come around and hit this one. And then I'm going to go back over here and turn around so I can see both of these bobs swinging. Now, let's slow down. Oh, perfect. So now one of the things we can do here is we have on the upper right hand side of the screen, we have a stopwatch and we can reset the stopwatch at any time by hitting the R button. The R button zeroes it. And then we can also hold the value. So for example, I can hit H and it freezes the value. Now the timer is actually going when it's held. So it's just freezing the value. But if I hit H again, you'll see the time has elapsed. And I can hit R. So let's wait for the uh, red bob to go to the left. I'm going to hit the reset button. It swings to the right. And it swings back to the left. I hit H again. And you can see it's about 7.3 seconds for the red bob. And then we can measure the period of the blue bob. So let's come over here and let's see, we're going to hit um, reset and then we're going to wait for it to get all the way back to the right. So there it goes to the left. It swings, comes to a stop and gets all the way back to the right. And we'll hit H, 13.9 seconds. So it took about 13.9 seconds for that to make a full period. And you could try to figure out what gravity is based on these measurements. That might actually help you. We also have this double pendulum. Let me see if I'm going to bump this very gently. Not too much of a bump. All right. And I'm going to drive forward and I'll turn around. And we'll see if we can see what this pendulum is doing. Let's take a look at what this guy's doing. All right, this thing is oscillating with two different modes of oscillation. So there are actually two frequencies in here. And you could study this and try to figure out, well, what are the two different frequencies? And how are they related? That's a more complicated thing. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually extend this. You could have lots and lots of pendula. You could make something that would oscillate sort of like a hanging chain. You could do that if you wanted to. Um, you can do other things like make gyroscopes uh, in this virtual world. You can study how does the rate of precession vary with the speed of the gyroscope. There are many different experiments you can do in this Blender world. Um, I haven't built a lot of these in here, but you can download this program and then modify it. You can down create your own objects and see how they interact. So again, if you want to download this, you go to this site. Uh, people.cornellcollege.edu, uh, D. Sherman slash physics game, and uh, download the program. So, this is in the introduction to my Blender physics game. Uh, please feel free to download, and thanks for watching.